Hi guys, it's Denise. So for today's video, I am going to show you how I did this everyday makeup look. They're all from the drugstore and basically I wanted to show you and share with you a makeup kit that I curated for people that are starting out with makeup or that get overwhelmed with so many choices in the drugstore. And I know sometimes they don't even have testers, so it's very hard to decide. Um, keep in mind that I do have oily skin, so these are the products that I love and that works best for myself. I wanted to also say that sometimes less is more and you don't have to be always buying the next big thing or having all the makeup collections in the world and you just need a couple of staple pieces and it doesn't mean that they're drugstore they're not good or if they're inexpensive they're not as good as the higher end ones honestly i just love them so if you want to check out how i did this look for great for every day and all the stuff that i use please keep watching okay so first things first elf poreless putty primer this one very inexpensive i only put this on the areas where i need to prime they get tend to get very oily or the places where i have big pores but not the whole base it helps with the application of my foundation very smooth and also i find that it does smooth out um fine lines and pores make them look smaller next is foundation this is the maybelline super stay full coverage 24 hour foundation this is my favorite foundation in the drugstore it's a comfortable matte it's long wearing it's full coverage it's inexpensive and i love the feel and texture of it you don't even need much you only need like a pump or two this foundation honestly is comparable to other high-end foundations all right now we're heading to concealer this is the elf hydrating camel concealer in the shade fair warm this is a dupe to the tarte shape tape i find i like the hydrating concealer because it's full coverage and it doesn't kick up doesn't settle to fine lines and obviously it brightens up my eye area okay to set it all up i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in fair light this is by far the best powder i've tried and i've found so far in the drugstore you can bake with this it's very light no flashback it blurs out my lines okay time for the eyebrows if you're looking for a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, then you may wanna try the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade, and this one is in medium brown. Again, super inexpensive, it's waterproof, it does not budge. Okay, to set my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Got To Be Glued Water Resistant Spiking Glue. This is super inexpensive, about three bucks for 35 ml, and you don't necessarily have to have this, but for oil oily skin and with the weather and everything like that i honestly want to make sure that my eyebrows stay in place so i'm just gonna grab a spoolie like this kind of do this and then brush it upwards okay so for bronzer i'm going to be using my favorite bronzer in the drugstore and this is the butter bronzer from physicians formula i'm pretty sure you've heard about this one this is in the shade deep bronzer super buttery and smooth i love the application just a perfect tone for myself and stays on all day it's not too much So time for blush, I couldn't choose one. So I have my two favorites right here, depending on the look I'm going for. This one is the Burt's Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon. And color is very, very pretty. If you 
want it in the warmer side, then pick this one. It has no shimmer on it, just matte to just give you color. Also, the other one is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I'm pretty sure you've heard about this. This is a peachy blush with more pink in it. And this one is more of a shinier type. So I would kind of be careful with this one. This one I wear more in the summer. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Bird's Beast one and a touch of the Milani one. And since I want a lifted look, I am going to be putting it here on the outer cheek area. All right, time for the eyes. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mini Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Truffles. This one is great for every day. It's pigmented, it's blendable. I'm actually surprised how e.l.f. had been improving when it comes to their eyeshadows and their products. You can honestly do so many looks on these. You can do from daytime to nighttime. It's great to have in your kit. Plus it's so tiny, it's great for travel. So first is I'm going to be using this shade right here all over my crease. Then for the outer V, I'm going to be using a darker shade this is more of like a chocolate brown shade that's gonna be on the crease so the look I'm doing right now is typically not for every day but I figured I wanted to kind of show off what this palette could do Okay, so for the inner corners or like the half of my lid, I'm going to be using this champagne-y taupey color and just use my fingers. Super easy to do. And lightly pat from the inner to the middle portion of your eye and lastly i'm going to be using this shade for my eyeliner we are almost done for eyeliner i'm using the copper girl liquid line blast and i honestly don't know the shade of this but i believe it's medium brown or dark brown this one's waterproof I usually do this on the upper lash line and lower lash line. Then I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and going to be putting on mascara. I have two mascaras that I'm going to mix. My favorite combo, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for definition and length. And the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Big Curl Waterproof Mascara. This one is for volume and lengthening as well. Love this combo. Makes my lashes look great. It stays on. It holds my curl. So if you're looking for mascaras, make sure to try these two or one of them. Wow, look what mascaras can do. I'm just always so blown away. All right, time for lips. I don't know about you, but whenever I shop for lipsticks in the drugstore, I just feel so overwhelmed just because lipsticks are great for everyone and there's just so many selections. Um, I'm gonna keep it really simple. These are my tried and true favorite lip products in the drugstore. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the color or shade 04. This one is long wearing, easy glide formula, and it lasts all day. It usually suits a lot of skin tones and lip colors. So this one actually is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk with obviously a big difference on price. And for a lip gloss, that is great for every day to put on over your lipstick lip liner and is not sticky at all. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Topaz. This is a dupe 
for the Fenty lip gloss and I'm going to show you how it just instantly plumps up your lips and make it look amazing. Okay, I almost forgot highlighter. This is, again, the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick Illuminator in the shade Light. When you're starting out, I find that this is more natural and easy to work with compared to a uh, powder. And tapping it where the light normally hits and then my nose. And last but not least, I'm going to set my makeup and my face to keep it fresh and make it last all day this is the wet n wild photo focus matte finish setting spray love the spray applicator on this one the finish it's not sticky it's not heavy has no scent and it makes my makeup stay all day and this is the finished look as you can see great for every day you can always change up the look layer on build it up switch it out even use the lip liner or the lip gloss by itself the eyeshadow looks oh, just i love it so i hope you got something out of this video and maybe help with your buying purchases when it comes to a drugstore if you like this video please go ahead and hit like don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos to come and also don't forget no matter what the day brings always always find joy up until the next video bye